okay welcome back uh, i'm going to now explain how to apply linear regression in matlab so this is the data we have x and y and we are supposed to fit a linear model uh, which is here so basically we need to find a0 and a1 so if you apply the least square method uh, then you minimize the error square and you put it, uh, you differentiate error square with, with respect to a0 and a1 and put it to 0, you get this system of linear equation. So we have two unknown, a0 and a1, and we, we got 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, we, uh, for 2 by 2 matrix, we can get explicit equation, okay, uh, but it's better to solve the matrix. This looks good, okay. So I need to find a0 and a1 okay I need to enter this matrix n is the number of data point in x or y summation of x summation of x square so this is the script, script file I am entering in script file you can do in command window also but uh, it is easy to edit here so matrix A for me I am making this matrix as A this matrix as a so a is n summation of x summation of x and summation of x square okay that's it then b vector which is right hand side vector uh, that is sum of y sum of y and sum of x y sum of y this is has to be entered as column vector so separated by semicolon x and y they are they are vector so this is element by element operation so you make sure that you put dot before mathematical operator okay so a and b is defined and that's it uh, a is a inverse times b okay and now this form should give me a coefficient a is a vector now which will have a1 and a0 so if i run this code yeah you can see i get a again let me clear the screen and then go back to uh, code and run this one yeah we get the coefficient a which is basically this is my file name okay a vector which is this is the intercept a0 and this is the slope okay easy now uh, you might be interested to calculate r square right R square is uh, depending on SR and ST. So SR, which needs the error. So error we can define, and then uh, for that maybe we can define YM. YM is A1. A is a vector. So first one is A0 and A2 times X. Okay. Then error is y minus y model okay then sr is sum of error square error is also a vector for each data point so this is sr st which is deviation of y with respect to the mean y okay so y minus mean of y this term has to be squared and we need to find the sum of this term okay make sure you use the, the bracket in proper way then your r square is basically s 
t minus s r divided by s t ok so hope now if i run this code it should give me the r square as well so now i have error here you can see there is error mean y y minus mean y this is each time this is a vector y minus mean y so when i square this it is squaring the each time so dot should be there let me run this now i get this uh, r square value and a value and if you want you can get st and sr as well it is being calculated so i i can take out this sign and run it again let me clear run and you can see now we get a we got sr we got st and we got r square okay so this is application of uh, this square method uh, code is easy not uh, very easy okay uh, right away uh, like in excel we had the built-in function you know this is like linear trend line and you got r square and you got uh, coefficients interse uh, intercept and slope in matlab also we have uh, uh, we have polyfit command okay polyfit is for polynomial fit but as you know that linear model is also a one degree polynomial okay so suppose i take this out okay and then i will apply the polyfit command for the same data so polyfit command we can apply for linear regression as well so polyfit com command gives you the a vector which is a coefficient vector of, of a polynomial polyfit okay and the data i have defined so x comma y then the degree of polynomial which is one now we are trying to fit a we are trying to fit a linear a model which is one degree polynomial so <coughs> we get a if you run here let me clear the screen if you run here you can see it gives you right away the coefficients and as i told you in class also that the polyfit command gives you the coefficient starting from highest order so this is the coefficient of x and this is the coefficient of uh, this is the intercept the constant okay now uh, suppose if you want to get the r square using this uh, this method okay what you need to do you need to write the model okay the model here it will change little bit because the first a1 a1 is the is th this this one so a1 a1 the model is a1x plus a2 so first one is the coefficient with x the highest order and rest of the things will be the same okay so error is y minus ym sr is sum of error square okay st is y minus mean y close this one square this with dot and then close this one find the sum okay and r square is st minus sr 
divided by S T. Okay, so this way you can get R square using polyfade command. Only difference is the Y model. Make sure you don't forget that polyfit model gives you the coefficient of highest order first. That's why uh, I have written the y m like this a1 x plus a2. Okay. So now you can see we got the same r square value a and then r square. So this way you can fit. Uh, non -linear, uh, linear model also using polyfit. Okay, I hope this is uh, clear.